I made one crazy trade yesterday. I want to tell you guys because I'm either going to look like the biggest fool in the room or the smartest guy in the room. What do you got? I, the odds are I'm going to look like the biggest fool in the room because I really couldn't find anything fun to trade yesterday. So I bought one stock. You guys ready for this one? Yes. This is definitely a risky play and I'm not advising XSPA. Take a look. Penny stock. Well, it is now, but yes. <laughs> not oh, when yeah. you bought it, right? No, no, no. I bought it yesterday. I bought it at 51 cents yesterday. Well, but what's this do? I express the, blah. This at is... the, you know the airports where they have the massage thing that are way overpriced? They're all closed down now. So you're buying this because nobody's at airports? It's a contrarian play, I think. I mean, you're yeah, paying... he's waiting for the airports to reopen. I'll tell you one more thing why I'm buying it, though, guys. <laughs> okay. COVID-19, they may be doing tests at airports for like temperature tests, but I have a feeling Express Bot hired a new chief medical officer. How far of a reach would it be? Could they do the antibody test if it's so easy? Could they start input, you know, having those at their spas? I just thought maybe there's gonna be something they're gonna announce that could really drive the stock back to $152. I looked at my downside scenario is losing 10 cents to get back to 40 yeah. cents and the upside 150. I mean, you, there is reopening plays happening here. Boeing, you know, and it's probably not a coincidence that this thing had an okay day yesterday because Boeing was up. This is not an investment and XSPA has taken off. <laughs> okay, XSPA just blasted off here, Jason, right now. Wait, I, I was oh my God. This. Moving? Oh my God. All right, so okay. anyways. Uh, I, you know what, I'm like sad said, out, guys. Th there's an actual headline that just broke saying oh. exactly what Jason just said. Really? Yeah, I'm kind of in shock here right now. So Express Boss. Oh my God. Oh my God, Jason. With what? JFK International Airport for COVID screening. How did you do that? I would have bought more shares yesterday, Spencer, if I really knew that. Wow. Yeah, that just hit the tape. They signed a contract I, I, for, it, for COVID. This is like the biggest coincidental thing I've ever seen in my life. Were you talking about that? And you saw that headline just, that headline broke at the same time oh, that trust you me, were talking see, about. Trust me, I did not see that headline. This is a PR. This isn't from Benzinga Pro. This is a PR. It's, it's a great prediction on your part. Unbelievable timing. Express Spa signs a contract with JFK International Airport Terminal for COVID screening and testing location. Oh my God. It, it's exactly what you just said could happen. It just happened like right away. This, this <laughs> so is the most- Maybe the company is listening to you. <laughs> this, this is maybe the craziest thing that's ever happened on this show before. I'm speechless on this one. Exactly. Exactly what you were predicting. Why did you think that was going to happen? Because this is exactly what just happened. I looked at the retailers in airports. I've been looking for trades that other people aren't trading. And I wanted something that was under $10. And I looked at the retailers in airports. Well, what I learned was a lot of the retailers are run by another company. Express Spa was one of the only few that is their own company. And so then I started researching it. And I saw a headline on the Benzinga ticker page that said this, and this is what, yeah, the JFK thing's right there, holy cow. I saw this headline from April 13th, and this is what gave me a little light bulb in my head, guys. Appoints Dr. Lewis Lipsy as first chief medical director for its express test subsidiary. But I saw chief medical director, a massage place hiring a chief medical director. This is definitely could be a COVID play. They're hiring a medical director. They're Where did you find that? And this is just classic research to find a trading idea that incredibly just came to fruition, you know, minutes after you were I, talking I can't believe it. it. <laughs> like, how did you know to go and like research this? I started okay. with the airport. I look at those express bars nonstop. And I've always watched this company. And then when I was looking for stocks to play, airport recovery stocks, I'm trying to buy stuff that other people aren't looking at. So I literally looked at 17 different retailers in, in airports. And then express Bob was the only one that I could find that was pure play in an airport. I'm just thinking if travel resumes, and if they get something in the antibody, I thought the antibody test, not the COVID, and it played out a little bit differently. But yeah, uh, you were saying antibody and this is playing out COVID. And this goes to show you, you do your research and you do your homework, you can find trades. My big thing was they hired a medical doctor. And if they're hiring a medical doctor yep. and the way their store is set up, it's perfect for testing. And they have the chairs. I mean, they have the chairs. You guys are probably laughing at me for saying that, but just the way it's set up, I know these. I'm not stuff. laughing at all. This is like the greatest thing that's ever no, happened. No, that's why I was speechless. <laughs> I mean, how often do I get speechless on no, the show? No, no. I mean, my jaw hit the floor. I'm like, he just predicted this headline, and the headline happened, but it was different than your prediction. It just happened to work out because you were predicting antibodies, and this was actually testing for COVID. It's, so, it's, a, a fantastic call.